Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's part two of our Florida vacation. We're going shark fishing in the Keys. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Big, beautiful. Oh, is that awesome? It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing! Oh my god! Yes, folks, it's day two of our fishing adventure down here in Florida. Actually, it's day three. Yesterday, we were out with Hansen. We caught a few fish, but today we're with Sam again, and you and Pete went out tarpon fishing. How'd you guys do yesterday? Uh, we got one nice fish, and then it kind of slowed down, to be honest with you. The weather picked up, and things kind of disappeared. Well, tell me about Pete's uh, tarpon. Did you get that casting? He was casting a pulse tail mullet, and he thumped it, and Pete's the lucky guy. He's like two for zero right now, and he landed that fish. We got some pictures and stuff, and uh, he was a happy camper. Yeah, those are cool pictures. So this is gonna be live bait fishing today, and we got a shot at some big fish in addition to sharks. Oh, absolutely. Um, the, the strategy is to first to look for bait. That's the number one key. You don't have that, you don't have the shark fishing. So we're gonna catch that some mullet. I'm no expert, but we'll catch a few mullets. And then we'll catch some sharks. Absolutely. Hey folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right yeah, after baby. this. Yeah. Hey folks, I gotta tell you something. We got a really cool contest going on with Fleet Farm right now. It's called John Gillespie's Fishing Getaway Giveaway. Enter for a chance to win one of three great fishing packages. These prizes include a Minn Kota trolling motor, a Humminbird fish locator, my personal fishing favorites, and of course, Fleet Farm gift cards. The grand prize is a two-day televised fishing trip with me, John Gillespie. Sign up now through April 23rd. Get all the details at fleetfarm.com slash sweepstakes. Enter today for a chance to win during John Gillespie's Fishing Getaway Giveaway. Now's your chance to win a new 2022 Grizzly 90s by Yamaha. Going on now, one lucky winner has a chance to begin a lifetime of awesome memories on a Grizzly 90, one of the best-selling youth ATVs in the industry. They're the perfect ATV for youth riders to explore the outdoors. The Grizzly 90 is equipped with a low-maintenance engine, automatic transmission, and electric start. Start a lifelong passion today by going to Gillespie fishing.com click on this banner for a chance to win enter now sweepstakes is open through june 4th so here i am with amsoil tech man genius len groom and len <laughs> You know, I run gas now, but I had several diesel trucks and I used to use the cold flow product all the time. The only time I ever experienced gelled fuel was when I forgot to use it. What can somebody like me do in that case or somebody else that's got gelled fuel? How can they fix it? Well, we've got a ton of additives, as you know. You've used a lot of them, but one that you haven't had to use would be this diesel recovery product, Pete. This is the one that's going to get you out of jail free because if you leave it at the boat landing or you leave it parked somewhere remote and the thing gels up on you, this product will take care of that. It'll get in there. It cuts through that gelled up diesel fuel. It causes it to get back into a real nice liquid state, and it will get that truck started. So it's Amsoil Diesel Recovery in case you forget to treat it. For those 30 below mornings, check out Amsoil.com. Hey, welcome back, folks. As we talked about at the top of the program, we're doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and that is fish for shark. Absolutely. Shark's the apex predator around here. As long as we get the bait to the shark to feed on, we shouldn't have any problems. And you guys down here in Florida don't go to a bait store. You got a net, you throw it when you see some movement in the water, and you catch your bait. Yes, and the price is right as well. Yeah. You just get the, net, uh, the bait. You can catch pilchards, mullet, or whatever you can you can catch in the net, except for game fish. Either. You can't use game fish for, for bait. Okay, the way we're doing this, folks, is we're hugging the shoreline real close here and going really slow with the big motor. And when Sam sees a school of bait, that's when he 
throws that net out and hopefully we'll get a couple. Hey, there we go, Sam. We got some bait, huh, buddy? Yeah, man, I'm not a live bait guy, so I'm not very good at this stuff, but we got two, so that's a start. What do you see up there, Sam, now? I see a what? mother load of fish. So when you get up there, just cruise in. Here he goes. Beautiful throw. Boy, is he talented. Well, do we get anything on that one, buddy? Yeah. Oh, we got more mullet. How many, like three? We got three. Good, good job there, buddy. All right, we got our bait. Pretty simple rig. You got an eagle claw circle hook, and you got one of the mullet we caught, and uh, what do you do next? You throw this out there, and once this, uh, I loosen the drag, when you hear the click, just tighten the drag and come tight as a circle hook, it'll set itself. Kind of interesting here. We are using a crappie bobber, folks. Look at that, a crappie bobber, but that keeps the mullet off the bottom, huh? Keep the mullet off the bottom, you know where it's at. That way you don't get your lines all tangled up. Put, put, put the line on it. Sam, there you go. There holy you go. cow, Sam, I don't know what this is, buddy. Oh. Holy cow, look at that. That's look a shark at, we're looking whoa, for. Is it a shark? It, it is, is a shark. shark. We're for. Oh my gosh, folks. <laughs> what do I do here, Sam? Hold on. We what might, do I do? We might have to follow him. That's a big one. That's a real big shark, folks. All right, I don't know. We're going to have to get that bow mount down and go after him. Look at, whoa, 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 dude. He is just taking off. Holy it's, cow, look at it's that. Going to it's gonna spool me, Sam. I'm going. It's gonna spool me, Sam. Sam, he's way the heck out there, buddy. He's way the heck out there. I'm going, I'm going. You gotta go after him, buddy. We don't want him to cut us off. Where you gotta he? go after him, pal. All right, reel in the Holy line. cow. Whoa. He's going to Mexico. Hold on, man. Hold on, dude. <laughs> this you is okay? amazing. This is too big for you, man. How big is it? It's got to be like 100 pounds. A 100 pounder, wow. Let's see. I'm is gaining on him a little bit here. Yeah, I'm glad you turned that big motor on to go at. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sam, yeah, I yeah. may have to have a relief here, buddy. Hey. Look at that go. You want it, Holy sure, cow. Sam. These things that are, is just, wow. These things don't, don't oh. play around. Sam. They're the apex predator. Wow. All right, well, we get, just reel in, John. That way I'm you don't gonna, All right, picking up line. Yeah. I'm picking up okay, line. Good, I'm picking good, up good. line. I'm in neutral. Just keep pressure on them. We okay. Them loose. Okay. You're reeling in the next one, dude, if we get this one. <laughs> I don't know. You're, you're supposed to be the, the angler here, so. Coming up front. Coming up front, Sam. Go up front, buddy. It'll be OK. Uh, there we go. Yeah, much better up here. Yeah, I'm up front. What do yeah. you do? Just tire these things out? Yeah, that's what you got to do. If you don't tire them out, you're going to get tired out. I already am. <laughs> <laughs> you pull a little stronger than those muskies, huh? Oh. <laughs> Sam, I'll tell you what, buddy. This is the toughest fight I have ever had in my life. And we're just getting started. I know. <laughs> I, I feel like we're closer, Sam, but every time I get him to move, he takes another run down. Oh, yeah, to him is a, is, is a you know, it's something weird, and he, want, he, 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 don't, he don't like you. No. But he don't like the boat either. He wants to go away. Oh, my gosh, look at that thing. Look at that thing, Sam. What do I do now, buddy? You keep on bringing him up. We're going to try to freaking uh, uh, get the hook back, hopefully. Okay. But if we can't, we just have to cut it off. It's just be too dangerous to try to get out. Okay. Yeah, we'll see where the hook is placed. Oh, Sam. I know, I know. No, it, it, this is really a challenge, folks. It really want, is it, fun. How many you want to catch? Uh, two. <laughs> oh, is. Sammy, look at him, there buddy. Look yeah. at him, Sam. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, Sam. What are you going to do, Sam? Yeah, that's a bull shark, it looks like. They're mean, man. Yeah, they're mean. Honestly, folks, I'm tired. It's been a half hour, buddy. Your turn, okay? Let me, let me help you. Driving the boat. Yeah, I'll drive the boat. Okay. All right, so. Get him in for me, Sammy. We got to give him some pressure, because if you don't give him pressure, he's going to sit there and recover like we do after a sprint, right? I mean, we've moved from we where moved. that fish hit 500 yards. Yeah, but of course. I'm trying to go the opposite way where he wants to swim. That way it's less oxygen for him to breathe. Put a little more pressure on him, that way he'll give up. And you want to get him tired out. Yeah, you got to break his will, because these things will recover, and then they'll go for another run. We'll be here for a little longer. <laughs> All right, well, you, hey, you took over for me. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, man, it's OK. It's Anytime. called tag team angling. Yes. Here's, there he is right there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at that. <sighs> what kind is it? I think that's a bull shark. A bull shark. Oh, not. he He's ain't done yet, guys. He, he ain't done. What do you want me to hold that now while you grab him? Uh, 
How about you grab them? I hold it. I don't know how to <laughs> grab them, Sam. <laughs> All right, we gotta do it in the back. Okay. Just keep dragging, buddy. Yeah. When the, the grab's not gonna last very long. Okay. <laughs> that way I can show you the fish. Let's see what happens here. This, this is the most dangerous part because these are strong fish. There he is right here. Oh my gosh, Sammy. <sighs> I don't know, we can bring him on a boat. <laughs> well, I don't know, what do you do? Yeah, you just gotta cut the lead at this point. He, we, we whipped him, look at him. The hook yeah. is right on the co corner, but he's way too big and too dangerous to be on the boat. So what do you, now that, that, we, that counts as catching him. Oh yeah, we got the leader, he's done. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, once the leader's in the guide, uh, sports fishing wise, like sailfish and stuff, it's considered landed. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ugh. All right, he's All done. Right. See that? Grab that. Hand me the rod. Hey, rod. Right, I'll grab the leader. Yeah, there's a bull shark. You see his teeth? It's in recess like that. This oh, is yeah. a bull shark. Lots and they're, lots the, of, uh, they're the most vicious, aren't they, in this area? They have the highest testosterone level of any sharks. I so can see where that aggressive. hook is, too. Yeah, I don't want to de-hook it, though. He's, no. uh, That'll he's kind of, right? But if you want to touch them, you know, no, they're, that's they're right. made of, uh, you should touch the fins here, it's sandpaper like. They're done, look. Whoa, stay away from that fish, Sam. That looked like a Jaws move right there. Yeah. Holy it's basically, cow. Uh, that's right. There we go. There we go. The power is just incredible, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It'll keep on going. Wow. It'll keep on going. There's plenty of them here. Now, that we're about a quarter of a mile from where we hooked that, aren't we? Yes, yes, until we was done. So, what you want to do is tire them out. That's the only thing you can do? No, oh, you can't. You lock it down, you'll snap your line. And that one, when you're catching game fish like sailfish and shark, uh, you're supposed to do what you just did. Yes, you break the leader off and it counts because they don't want to harm the fish. And this one, it'll harm you. How, so, how and big, the boat. How big was that? That's gotta be like 100 pounds. Oh, dude, yeah. thank you, buddy. We were fishing the Florida Keys in South Florida, a 24 hour drive from Milwaukee, 23 hours from Chicago, and 26 hours from Minneapolis. The best anglers know that there's always more out there. So they're always looking for an edge. And when they hook up with us, they find it. The most advanced motors, shallow water anchors, and more. Now even more powerful and capable when you connect them with your hummingbird. When you fish with us, you fish for more. Well, we had to go down a very dirty, dirty road today and our boat got a bunch of sand, salt, and mud all over it and that can cause permanent damage to our boat. But you have a solution. We do have the solution. It's called the AquaJet Johnson Pump Washdown System and it is the strongest PSI washdown in the industry. Without having to haul any power washers down, any hoses hook up, you're using the lake water, filtering the lake water, leaving your boat completely sparkling clean. Wow, I can't wait to get Johnson pumped. Oh, oh. nice bass, <laughs> I'm bullet. Let's pull that yeah. up, there you go. You've proven that that will call fish in. Yeah, there's no, no. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh, oh look oh, at man. that. This new Seaguar Ice X line is absolutely incredible. This new ice line has low memory and it provides exceptional knot strength. It has unparalleled abrasion resistance even on the coldest of days. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Nice job. It's extremely sensitive, helping you detect more bite and catch more fish. Learn more at Seaguar.com. <sighs> I, it was good to sit down and rest. That fight literally was, what did you say, Ryan, about a half hour? Yeah. yeah 35 minutes. And uh, th if you want to feel a strong, powerful fish, folks, this is it. And, and, and it's not rocket science. It's pretty simple. Catch your live bait, cast out, wait for the bobber to go down. And when the bobber goes down, it feels a lot bigger than a crappie. I'll tell you that right now. But Sam, that's a very good sign that we had three bites in the first 10 minutes, right? Absolutely, John. Just like any fish, these fish can turn off. But three bites in the first 10 minutes, it's phenomenal. Go back up to right where we were? Yeah, they're, they're around. They'll smell the, the bait. They'll come get it. They're not the apex predator for nothing. All right, he just took the bait. He just took the bait. It did? Really? He took the bait. He I just saw him come up and splash. Let's see it. Come on. Oh, look at that rod jump, folks. 
See, the bobber's still up. Oh, yeah. he's got it now. He's, he's got, got it. Now. He's, he's got ready. it. He's, he's got, got it. it. Tight bobber a fishing bit. for shark, folks. There we go. We come tight. There we go. You got him, Sam? I got him. You got him. All I right, buddy. Him. What do you want? What, what should I do here? What should I do, buddy? I think this is not as big as the one you had. Good. So, we want one we I can hold up. good. That's the one I want, Sam. Now, do you know what kind that is yet? This is probably a little black tip. See the little black tip on his uh -huh. fin? Yep. Yeah, why do, I, why do I have to fight the 100 pounders and you get to fight, fight the 10 pounders? Oh, that's because I get to fish these things all the time. You know, you're the guest, you know? Well, you took good care of me, buddy. What are we going to do here now? We can bring this guy in. He's okay. not, he's not going to kill it. Now, how do you grab a shark, Sam? Okay, for me. The, the skin is sandpaper, so they're not very slippery. So what I do is just grab the back of the head like this, like this, and then grab the tail. Wow. And then you can control it like this. You know? Look at how white that belly is, huh? There's a white belly, and if it was big enough, he'll eat you. And you can see, <laughs> folks, that where that eagle claw circle hook is, those circle hooks don't hook, hurt the fish, do they, Sam? Oh, we can de-hook this one pretty easily. Yeah. And he'll go on his merry way, no gut hooking, and we're good to go. And what, again, that hook set isn't real hard. It's more of a sweep. Just come tight. And this is a young shark, obviously. It's a young one, you know, it'll go bigger and become just like yours. This was just a different variety. Sam, Sam, Woo! help Sam. Whoa, Sam, help me, buddy. My strategy Help work. me, buddy, help Let me, me buddy, help me. Help me. You got wow. another big one? Uh, yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> Sam, help, come on, buddy, I need I'm, your help, I'm man. This in. I can't I'm this in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tighten that drag a little bit. This is a big fish, buddy, I need you. <laughs> I need you. Here I am, here I am. Okay. I'm here for you, buddy. Holy cow. Okay. What he did, folks, was you put the talon up and we drifted for about, what, three minutes? Not even. And boom, she, did you see that thing drag line? Is this a big one, pal? You know what, it's a big one, but it's not going like the first one. I think he had a lot of energy, and at this point, he's coming back to us. Hey, one thing I want to mention, you know, one thing I love about Savage Gear is you make the right rods and the right reels for every species, both freshwater and saltwater, don't you? Absolutely, this is the new SG-10, which is uh, made of uh, machine aluminum, and it's got a sealed drag on top of that, so it's made for tough stuff like this. There it is, right there, oh! Oh my gosh, look yeah, at that thing! Holy Sharko! There's another bull. Holy Sharko is right, folks. Bull. I bet he's probably about 75. 75 yeah. pounds? He's, uh, he's big, but he's not as big as the first one. This is something that people should come and experience one, once in their lives, isn't it, Sam? Oh my God, yeah. Especially if you like pulling on fish. Yeah. This will make all the northern species, you know, uh, uh, not as strong. Yeah, no kidding. Just sheer, unadulterated uh, power. Yeah, beast. All right. Okay, he's Sam, what up. do we do now, buddy? I'm going to have to grab that rod from you, right? Uh, unless you want to grab the fish. No, I'm not grabbing <laughs> the fish. Holy oh, See the sucker shark. hook right in the corner right there. Yep, that yeah. is a beautiful fish, buddy. Same thing as the other one. This one's going to be a little too big to come on board. However, we can take a good look at them. As you can see, these uh, this is the bull shark. And, uh, uh woo! Okay. <laughs> that counts as a catch, that though, That counts right? catch. We got the leader. Okay, so... You do not want to stick your hand in there. Now, that was a bull shark. That's a bull shark. And they're the meanest, right? They have the highest level of testosterone, and they hunt in packs. Really? Yes, they hunt in packs. I've seen uh, big tarpon caught, and there'd be like 10 bull sharks. Boom, and it's gone in like five seconds. And this is the time of year they spawn. They come into the river systems They and come spawn? and spawn all the way to summertime. And really? That, and that's when the, uh, the tarpon migration happens, and they follow the tarpon up as well. But I'll tell you what, if you want a battle of fish this is an experience that you got to try sometime it's a very special deal when you're fighting a fish that's stronger than you are oh my god yes if you did, if you went on a boat he would drown you yeah right no <laughs> kidding buddy and uh this is relatively easy like we talked about um, it's not high pressure you're not casting all the time you get the bait out there and you just wait you know you just got to be a good spot where the current's moving like this and uh, the fish follows the current along with the bait and it finds your bait then you hooked on. I like the bobber system too. It's awesome. You can see, even yeah. for OIs like yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2022 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Frank Kavanaugh of Braidwood, Illinois, caught this 52-inch muskie on Lake Sinclair using a bucktail. Alana Neville of Milesville, South Dakota, caught this 14-and-a-half-inch perch in South Dakota on a waxworm. Dale Heron of Germantown, Wisconsin, caught this 30-inch walleye on Little Beta Knock on a sucker. 
Edward Gommel of Delavan, Wisconsin, caught this 43-inch northern pike in the Delavan area using a dead bait. And this week's first kid winner is Braden Thomas of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, caught this 31-and-a-half-inch northern pike on the Beaver Dam River on a shiner. And Evan Conrad of Plymouth, Wisconsin, caught this 28-inch walleye on Elkhart Lake using spikes. You know, folks, Johnsonville has been a world leader in the sausage industry for over 75 years. And right now, they are hiring. I've worked for Johnsonville for over 22 years, and I know their company culture. First of all, they're a family-owned business. Second of all, they care more about their people than the profits. Also, they're interested in career growth for all of their people. Johnsonville has immediate openings in manufacturing roles at all of their facilities facilities in Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin, Watertown, Wisconsin, Moments, Illinois, and Holton, Kansas. Johnsonville, they're so sincerely interested in you becoming the best person you can possibly be. I started Johnsonville as a temp. When you first start a company, you still don't know much about the company. So when you actually like learn what the, the, the job about and how much it means to the company, how much they care for the employees, it's kind of make you want to like, wow, this company you want to be at. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Blackfish Performance Wear provides the ultimate sun protection and cooling comfort. With CoolCore chemical-free cooling technology, Blackfish gear wicks sweat away from your body, so it evaporates quickly, keeping you cool, dry, and comfortable. And without chemical additives, it doesn't lose its cooling properties, even after repeat use and washing. When you need protection and comfort, choose Blackfish, because you can't choose the weather. On that two inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built-in glass rattle, it's a play off the Google Eye Jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes, incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth, so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth making two different types of unique noises and then the third feature which is the most unique is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions and again you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors oh look at that sam i don't know what this is buddy i don't oh, know what this it's, is it's, look it's at your this. favorite size it's a, hey it's one we can hold up yeah sammy look at that buddy that's the gillespie size that's right the there. one i like to reel in right <laughs> there look at that whoa and he's not done yet okay coming back here for you sam do you want to hold it up because no i don't want to hold him up <laughs> that I, I can handle a muskie okay okay so so folks if you want to hold these fish up these small ones you can actually control just go in the back of his head like this watch your hands and then grab his tail as well and then you're good to go now what kind is this guy this looks like you know what this is a tough one to to to, to tell because i don't see, see any markings but we can look it up he's got some white spots here that look kind of the same and that's about a 10 pounder yeah 10, 10 pounder what a fun day buddy huh it's a good day we're not going to quit quite yet i want to get uh, one that's about 50 pounds exactly you can hold it over your head like this like you know <laughs> Oh, how did you know that was coming? I saw the rod tip move right here. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you got him, Sammy. You got, got him, Sammy. Okay. Is good one, buddy. One? Is the bigger one we just had. Oh. Okay. Tell me if you need me to run the boat. Oh, I need you to fight this fish. <laughs> uh, how you doing there, pal? <laughs> now we're good. Uh, this, I think, hey, I think... you do this every day and you still get excited, don't oh, you, buddy? Oh, absolutely. You, you know? know? But when you're shark fishing, you can always hook tarpon, all kinds of other stuff too. Everything eat these things. <laughs> And one thing we should mention, too, how important that talon is for this type of fishing, right? Absolutely. You, you put that talon down, you stay stationary, and uh, just let your bobbers float around with those uh, live mullet on it, right? Yes, and if you need to pull up anchor, you push a couple of buttons, and you're good to go. We're going to need to chase this one, Sam? Absolutely not, you know. You're gaining on him? Gain, he's coming to me. I'm okay. pulling him in. And they love the mouths of these rivers, don't they? They like it because the bait gets flushed out, and they just hang out these mouths of the 
the rivers and you know it's like a buffet you know i i love using that heavy uh cigar smackdown line but the reel is really important and boy you guys i'm so impressed with all of your reels the drag systems how well they work you know you know a lot of a drag is made of uh, carbon that way it's not it's very smooth and you comes down locked down on tight and it sets the hook properly it doesn't slip it off oh, oh my gosh sammy oh, good day. another big bush shark, that's guys. not one we can hold up is it yeah you can try but you might get hurt no i'm not gonna try <laughs> look at the size of that shark aruma oh there he is again there second time up folks how big this is probably close to like 80 80 90 pounds right here wow look, look at that fish folks. look at this thing that is so cool to I'm see i'm gonna bring him over here okay look at him he's tired now here you go i think <laughs> all right all right there you go johnny got there it there's johnny got it got it got it all right wow look at that folks <laughs> Okay, Alrighty. Sammy, there you get a shot of that head. There you go. Holy cow. You can see how big this shark is compared to, oh. Whoa. Was he coming at you, Sammy? No, no, he's pulling away. All right, wow. guys. And those circle hooks are just hooked perfectly, right in too. in the corner. I'm gonna try you to de-hook de him before he goes crazy. Nope. Doesn't Whoa. like it, doesn't like it. Sam, I'm trying to get him over to you. Yes, it's He's time made to... three runs on me. Yep. I had to put on gloves because it's a little too dangerous. These, these are big and powerful fish. Even when they're tired like this, okay. they're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna... Yeah, don't get hurt there, buddy. Don't get there hurt, Sam. Don't get hurt. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to get the hook out. If he, if he don't, he's gonna break the line. Yep. See you later, buddy. See the teeth coming out? Oh yeah, look at that. Never do this, folks. Have, have a... Dangerous stuff, man. Wow. They're very powerful. Yeah. There we go. Good job, pal. Ooh, swims right off. Now, I get, I get half that fish. I had to fight him a long time. You lost your sunglasses. Yeah, where's my sunglasses? They sunk. I gotta go get them. If you want to do some shark fishing in South Florida, contact Alan Sherman. It's GetEmSportFishing.com. Again, it's GetEmSportFishing.com. The top features for the fishermen are the large casting decks that we have on board of the boat. We also have the highest end electronics available to the fishermen that he would really appreciate, as well as air ride seating, things like that, really make your day on the water comfortable. Tons of room for your graphs, large live wells, bait tanks, everything is easily accessible. John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. We only fish sharks for what, three, four hours? Exactly, most of the time we're running around looking for bait. No, that was fun, yeah. buddy. And I'll tell you what, folks, you want the fight of your life, you deal with a 100-pound bull shark, right? Exactly, fight was so hard, I lost my sunglasses. I got a lot more respect for the Savage Gear rods and reels. You know, we've been testing them the last couple of years, but I am so impressed with the reels and the drag oh, I'm, systems. I'm, I'm glad you like them, you know, coming from a, a guy who catch a couple, you know, a couple pound of walleyes, you're good. Yeah, I catch a couple of big <laughs> sharks. And folks, <laughs> that is our show for any Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoy John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Yay, Sammy! Yeah, you owe me sunglasses. <laughs>